All right, Shalom, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I got a quick hit for you, uh, one scripture to go into, and this is based off of uh, the situation with, I believe it was uh, Sakari, a Sakari member or Sakari members up in New York talking with uh you know a GMS uh, one of the GMS members up there in New York you know and I'm just basing uh or I'm saying that information based off watching the apostle or some of the apostle Gabar video that he did uh I believe it was uh, earlier today if I'm not mistaken I can't remember the title at the moment uh but it was a land back uh, he was, you know, going into what the Sakari member had said, basically, which was not basically, but that we can keep the law perfect and that they keep the law perfect as if we can keep the law perfect. Well, if we keep the law, statutes and commandments perfect, that means we can stand before the most high, most high or walk on this planet Earth before the most high and be justified as righteous and what is righteous ultimately righteous uh, righteousness is keeping the whole entire law the way that one is righteous is through keeping the law statutes and commandments perfect okay so let's get into this uh scripture, scripture real quick and um none of us can keep the law perfect it says, this is out of the mouth of Paul to the Israelites that believe in Yahawashai in the uh, Galatia, the church of Galatia. It says, uh, Paul saying, I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahawashai. For if righteousness came by the law, then Mashiach is dead in vain. Beautiful uh, scripture that explains why you know uh encapsulate uh, why perfection or righteousness couldn't come through the law because if so then that means yahweh came on the scene and died for nothing let's go back through this verse and examine it a little bit let's go into this word frustrate so Paul saying, I do not, he said, I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Check this out. I looked into this word before and it's interesting what it says. Strong's G114, Atheteo, Atheteo. Okay, so it says, to do away with, to set aside disregard. To uh, thwart the uh, efficacy of anything, nullify, make void, frustrate, to reject, to refuse. So Paul saying he's he don't reject, he don't disregard, he don't make void, he doesn't refuse the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And what was, was the ultimate way the Most High showed us grace, which means favor, is through sending his son. He, gave, he did us a, a big favor. With, uh, you can say he gave us grace through his son. Okay? Through his son, Yahawashai. That we wouldn't be put to death, but he would have favor upon us, show us favor, and Yahweh Shai would uh, uh, die for our wickedness that we had committed, the nation of Israel. Now let's go back to the verse. So it's saying, uh, let, read it, let me read it again. It says, I do not frustrate or I do not disregard the grace of Yahweh by, by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, for if righteousness came by the law. Let's look up this word righteousness. 
Check it out. Strong's G, 1343. Dikayasune. Dikayasune. Okay. Hmm. All right. It says, in a broad sense, state of him who is as he ought to be, righteousness, the condition acceptable to God. What's the condition acceptable to God is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. The doctrine concerning the way in which man may obtain state a state approved of the most high, meaning walking before the most being approved or justified as you walking before the most high, uh, uh, righteous. Okay. Or blameless, or in other words, perfect. It says integrity, virtue, purity of life, rightness, correctness of thinking, feeling, act, Acting, it says in a narrow sense, justice or virtue, which gives each his due. So righteousness is the law, statutes, and commandments. All this is which, uh, all this wording right here is fulfilled in the keeping the law, and this is filled to the up, fulfilled to the utmost when you keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfect, which none of us can do. That's, that's why James made the uh, statement, if you offend in one law, you offend in all. Because if you break one, because if you break one law, that disqualifies an individual for standing before the most highest perfect. Okay. It says, let me read the second part of this verse. It says, for if righteousness came by the law, yeah, if we could stand before the most high and say that we perfect, I do no wrong, then Yahawashai died in vain. So Yahawashai went through that excruciating pain, torment, uh, humiliation for nothing. If we was able to walk on this earth perfect, what would need would there be for Yahweh? In other words, he died so that we can receive perfection. And Apostle Boy went in, into this. You know, he died so that we could what? So that we to uh, usher in the new covenant. We haven't got it, but he done the work. Uh, he done. He made the sacrifice that was necessary to make the new covenant official. We're just waiting right now. We're in a grace period. Okay, and through the new covenant, that's what we get. That's what we'll be able to stand before the most high perfect. Say, yes, I'm perfect. I do no wrong because the law, statutes and commandments are going to be embedded in our makeup. So uh, that's the video. Lord willing, it was edifying. And until the next one, I say shallow one.